Let's talk about seven key focus areas that all guitar players should be practicing. Now, there are a lot of different areas that guitar players should be practicing if they want to become better as a guitar player, uh, as a musician, as a performer, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm not talking about ear training, although that's a great one. Music theory, oh, that's a good one. Uh, performing, uh, rehearsing, those sorts of things. Not talking about those, although those are, those are all great. What I'm talking about specifically is seven specific techniques uh, things on the fretboard, picking and fretting wise that you should be doing if you want to be a well-rounded guitar player. And here they are. And I'm reading them. Sorry, but I'm going to go over the exercises with you. And by the way, if you want access to uh, any of these PDFs uh, for the, the exercise that I'm going to be showing you, most of them I think you're going to be able to get just by watching me. But if you want access to the PDFs, you'll find that in the link below uh, with your free subscription to the Unstoppable Guitar System Standard, all right? So check that out if you need the PDFs. And here are the seven different areas. Alternate picking, I've got an exercise for you for each one of these today. Hammer-ons and pull-offs, economy picking slash arpeggios, uh, stretch and reach, modes and sequences, polyphonic playing, which would be like double stops, octaves, that sort of thing, and finger style guitar. Okay, so the first exercise being alternate picking. This is going to be a super easy exercise for you, but alternate picking is the strict down up picking. We want to make sure that we have this. This is kind of the antithesis to economy picking, which we'll be talking about in just a moment here. But strict alternate picking, what you want to be able to do is pick however you want to pick, but not let the pick take control. You want to be able to know what it is that you're intending. Okay, if this escapes you, if this concept escapes you, then you definitely need to be listening because if you're having issues with picking, it means that your pick's not doing what you what it should be doing. It's doing what you've a bad habit that you've created. Okay, this is how to undo that. And strict alternate picking is one way to do that. And this is exercise one. So the way that you could do this is very simply, it's gonna go like this: two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Two, one and you're just gonna work it back up. And then you're gonna do fingers uh, three, two. And then same thing with fingers four and three. Okay, just going up and down the fretboard. Uh, now, you'll take this exercise, you'll move it up the fretboard, you'll move it down the fretboard, take your time with it. The point here is that you want to practice strict alternate picking and you want it to not be at a speed that's boring and you don't want it to be so fast that you're getting frustrated. You want to be pushing up against your edge, okay? That's exercise one. Okay, so for exercise number two, this is practicing your hammer-ons and pull-offs, okay? So, very easy because we're going to take the same exact exercise that we just did except we're going to pick only the first note and we're going to pull off on the second note. And so you're going to practice the PDF that I have for you. The link's in the description below. And it'll be in the 365 guitar plan. I'm giving you both. I'm giving you the first week in 365 guitar plan and I'm giving you the Unstoppable Guitar System Standard. Uh, you got to get in that course. We've had 700,000 people get in that course so check that out. But essentially, you're doing the same exercise, but these are pull-offs. Right? Or you can do the hammer-ons. Whatever you're practicing is what you're practicing. So in this case here. Okay? And you'll do that with fingers one and two, fingers two and three, then fingers three and four. Work it up the fretboard, work it down the fretboard, find your quan, push it up against your edge. Okay, that's exercise number two. Exercise number three is economy picking. So economy picking is different than alternate picking. Alternate picking says strict down, up picking, no matter what, no matter what string you're going to, no matter what fret you're going to, it's just always down, up, down, up, down, up, right? What economy picking says, and uh, it's not one is right and one's wrong, it's that they're used for different bits. Okay, different things. Uh, well, we're not going to get into the, the weeds with that. I've got a video for that here on YouTube. But essentially, what, alternate, what, what economy picking says is 
it depends whether we're going to pick down or up depending on what it is that we're doing. So in the case of this exercise that you can find via the same link, in this case here I'm playing frets 3, 5, and 7. 3, 5, 7. And I'm picking down, up, down. Well my next note that I'm going to play in the exercise is on the string below the sixth string and I'm picking down. So alternate picking would say I go past that string and then pick back up again. This is what alternate picking exercise uh, would say here or the rule would say down, up, down, go past the string that you were going to pick and pick up. I'm going past it and then I pick up. What economy picking says is down, up, down, and then the next note is below it, so pick that one down as well. So down, up, down, down. I know, sounds like the Adams family. Okay, and that's exactly how you want to practice this. Now, if you're asking yourself, why do I want to do that? Because we're breaking a paradigm. If you're really strict with alternate picking, we're breaking a paradigm. It's going to help. Can't get into all the weeds there. Uh, you'll find more inside the 365 guitar plan, but that's exercise number three. Our fourth exercise is a way to help our stretch and reach basically of our hand. We're not really stretching anything, but we're, we're positioning our hand in such a way that it will allow us to grab certain chords. And when we're practicing like this, when we go to grab those chords that might normally be more difficult to grab, these exercises will really help. This one's an introduction to this concept, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna take your first finger, put it on the 12th fret of the second string, and put your second finger on the 13th fret of the first string. And essentially what you want to do is just pick and then move that first finger down. So you want to space in between the two and then pick those again. And then move the second finger down. And so on and so forth. Repeat that pattern. Now what's happening is, of course, is as we're going down, the frets are becoming further apart naturally on the guitar, and so that makes the exercise more difficult as you proceed. Now if you want to add some uh, bonus to this, you can practice this with your second and third finger and your third and fourth finger. Later on in the course, I get into three fingers, four fingers, and all sorts of different variations of this to really challenge your fingers. If you have issues with this, take your thumb, drop it behind the back of the neck, it's going to give you some more slack here in your hand. You'll be able to do the exercise uh, easier. Okay, that's exercise number four. All right, this is exercise number five. This is under our modes and sequences or scales and sequences. And essentially, the very first one, of course, is the pentatonic scale, a must know for everybody. And in fact, I'm giving you uh, form one, which is the most used form by far in rock, blues, country, jazz, name it, it's the most used form for guitar players and it goes something like this and this is in the key of A minor and it's going to go you can work it back okay you have the tab for this Take this, work it down the fretboard, work it up the fretboard. I love exercises, but I also like practicing things that I'm gonna be able to use every day. In this form, man, you're gonna be able to use it in all sorts of different genres, improvisation and everything else, okay? That's exercise number five. Now let's look at exercise number six, which is polyphonic playing. So this would be things like octaves, double stops, triads, chords, that sort of thing. So for this exercise, and you can get this of course in the PDF there, is you're gonna play this either finger picking wise or by muting the middle string here, you know. I'm doing that by taking my first finger and playing the string that I want, but muting the middle string and strumming all three notes. Or you can do it finger picking wise. Either way is fine. And whatever you practice is what you're going to get good at. So people say, should I practice both? And I'm like, do you want to be good at both, right? So practice whatever it is that you want to get good at. I would suggest doing both, right? That is our polyphonic uh, exercise. 
Now for our seventh exercise, we're gonna be looking at finger picking or finger style, right? We gotta get those fingers working. So really quickly, we wanna make sure that we're using the thumb for strings six, five, and four, and using fingers one, two, and three for strings three, two, and one, respectively, okay? And so the exercise here is gonna look something like this. Open, so you don't have to even be fretting anything, it's gonna look like this. If you have nails, great. If you don't have nails, great. Doesn't matter. There's a million players who, who use their nails, mainly on nylon string guitar, not so much steel string guitar. But on steel string guitars, tons of players don't have nails. They just don't use the nails and they just use their fingertips. So however you want to do it, it's up to you. Develop your own style, okay? Um, and so you want to practice this slowly. You can practice this with different chords. Does not matter. Just practice that pattern. Slow and steady wins the race. And of course, playing accurately will equate to playing quickly later on. There you are, my friends. That is seven key focus areas that all guitarists should practice in. Don't forget to take advantage of the free course that I'm giving you today, which will give you access to all those PDFs. Uh, that's in the 365 section. You'll see it once you get in there. You've got UGS Standard, and you also have 365 Guitar Plan. So check both of those out. My gift to you, my friends. Please let me know how I can help. Leave those comments below. Thumbs up, all that good stuff. Subscribe, whatever you want to do. I don't really care. I'm here to help you. You. So let me know how I can help you, friends. I'll see you in the next video.